What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Come along. Let's walk and talk. Let's walk and talk. So today, and I'm sure I talked about this before. I'm not sure, but today I want to talk about uh, who you gonna choose. Who you gonna choose? Who you gonna choose to be in that birthing room with you? Okay, now, kind of the same speech that I would give to anybody two, three years ago, basically, pre-COVID. But since we are here in 2021, and we have monitored, right, we see that it's really not going anywhere. <laughs> so, I'm just, hold on, what happened to the water? Oh, it used to be a nice waterfall right here. Interesting. Interesting. But anywho, I kind of wanted to talk to you about who's going to be that partner now that COVID is under these restrictions. And as we all have come to, no, not come to a customer, but it doesn't surprise us when things change anymore, which can be a good thing, you know, especially if you're not used to change. Uh, this was a good lesson about, you know, inspecting the unexpected, etc. Um, now you're going to have to be real choosy more than ever. Before, it was like, all right, I can invite the person that I want. And then I can invite, you know, somebody who may want to come. And I necessarily don't want them to be there. But because, you know, they are my mom or a cousin or even um, a sister of mine, you know, sometimes you don't want those particular people in your room when you're at your most vulnerable time, like going into labor, right? So with that being said, this is a good lesson to learn how to kind of narrow that list down to who is actually that person who is that person who's gonna ride or die with you no matter what in that room it might be for two days might be for three weeks not three weeks necessarily sorry i ain't mean to scare nobody <laughs> it might be for three days might be for two days might be for a day of labor some four days of labor but somebody who's gonna stick it out with you for those who don't know who ride or die is somebody no matter what your emotional state is if you're happy one minute and you're cursing them out this in the second minute and you're going off at your ob or your midwife you know the next minute that person is able to uh balance the situation that person is able to soothe out the situation that person is able to overstand understand exactly what you're going through and even if they're male pain is pain uncomfortability is uncomfortability not knowing when something's going to stop hurting everybody can relate to that and I know men you know still some women are still impressed about how something so big like six seven eight pounds nine pounds and just recently we heard about 12 pound baby right was it Australia you know coming out such a small little hole <laughs> that we all we only thought maybe an inch or something could, could fit in there and nothing more you know about an inch about an ounce you know about you know inch width what eight inches long ladies I don't know men I don't know help me out here um so this point in your life especially a lot been going on you should really know who's in your corner, who's not, you know, because we've been through a lot between the elections, between all this social unrest, voting, COVID, the Rona. <laughs> People have been going through it, not only within themselves, but within their family, the co-workers, their friends, people who used to be tight, ain't tight anymore because of all the stuff that just happened you know, simultaneously, one thing after the other, after the other. So people who you were close to two years ago, some of y'all are not even close to those people anymore. People who you thought 
was going to be there on your wedding day or thought was going to be around when you had, you know, that special moment, um, birthing a baby, who you thought was going to, you know, do this, that, and the other is no longer there anymore. So now you have to adjust. One thing I must say, shout out to the doulas. Hey, <laughs> raise it up for the doulas. Okay, y'all keep up the good work out there. Mommies, future mommies, holla at a doula, okay? Doulas, a couple years, 10 years ago, hard to find. Now, they all over the place, okay? Especially since the government has finally woken up <laughs> in some states. Some say, I'm in New York and we still going through it. But some states, you know, where women are aware of them, um, they know where they are. They're in the community. They know them by name. <laughs> you know what I mean? A referral or whatever. Um, some other states are just a little bit behind. But just know, in 2021, there is a doula near you. And if you are in a rural area, there is Wi-Fi near you. It might be a little slow. It's all right. I think Biden said he's working on that. Don't hold your breath. But anyway. <laughs> but you got it. I'm a doula. You got access to me, right? So there's no excuse anymore. Okay, to be alone. There's no excuse to settle for just anybody being in your room just because they your man. That's his baby. <laughs> just because that's your mama, you know. But that's your mama, that's your man. That's great. That's your sister, that's great. But do they hold you down like that? Do they hold you up? Should I say? Let me switch that. Do they hold you up? You know? Do they understand your situation and what their duty is? To you, this is a, a unselfish position when you're a labor partner. Like, literally, it's not about you anymore. So, who is that person that could put their egotistical, selfish ways aside, even to the point of not eating? It get real as a labor partner with COVID, especially because once you come in, they don't really want you to keep going in and out, in and out. You know, and then some are funny when you Uber and eat. <laughs> so, you know, let me put that in as a hint. Labor people, pack you some snacks in your bag. But labor people, you know, they, they lose sleep. They don't sleep because they, they know they have a job to do. And they know it's important. So they're up monitoring you. They might have not have slept in three days. Whatever how long that labor started, they haven't slept. Now, if you have a labor partner that's knocked out 75% of the time, then that ain't a good labor partner, honey. <laughs> You need somebody that's going to be drifting in and out with you, that's going to be alert and attentive, that knows what you want, not what they want. So while you're sleeping, you're resting until the next contraction, this person telling the midwife or the OBGYN something that wasn't even on your birth plan, something that they want you to do, not what you want yourself to have your birth be like, right? You got to watch them people. And those are usually the closest ones, right? And they make decisions for you. When you wake up, you find finding out you having a whole procedure done or things done to you that you didn't even request it and may be unnecessarily needed. But that person who think they know it all, they know what's best for you, might be the one making those decisions for you. And then you're going to be spending a whole lot of time trying to forgive that person, right? You're going to be at church. Right, you're gonna be pulling out your crystals and stuff. You know, you're gonna be sage and every time you see that person, <laughs> you better stop. You better stop, save yourself some time. Just make the decision wisely now. And I, I, you just found out you're pregnant, congratulations. Start thinking now, who's gonna be that birth partner? And keep it to yourself. You won't have to be going to the, oh, this is a good time. Everybody's doing picnics and stuff, right? People are gonna wanna know, are they, are they the chosen one? Come up with something to say. Use the same script, just like them celebrities do. Sit down, write a script, and use that same script for every relative, every friend, every coworker that asks you the same questions over and over. The celebrities do it all the time. All the time. Yeah, we might be mad at them for two seconds, but what happened? We forget all the dirt they done did, didn't we? Because <laughs> they done sat down, they put their words right. Okay? And for those of you who know seasons... Hey, it's air season. Let's go. Write that down. And then use that same script so nobody feel no kind of way. Okay? They won't be wishy-washy about it. 
You won't be, I'll get back to you about it. That type of thing. You know exactly what you want. All right. And then especially now with the COVID getting like crazy. And you really can choose just one person. And that one person has to be somebody who understands you, understands you, overstands you. That's a very serious decision. And if you're all, if you're stuck, if you ain't got nobody, that's all right. That's okay, cause we know we human. Everybody ain't perfect. Our relationships ain't perfect. But when you have this special time where you have to completely focus on yourself and your baby, you can't focus on nobody. You can't worry about if somebody else needs something to eat. You can't worry about telling somebody else to clean up the hospital room. You you, you can't be in mommy mode. You gotta be in surrender mode. You gotta be in that new, new beginning, fresh mode. And that doesn't include, it doesn't have room for others, believe it or not. Just you and your baby, that's enough space, that's it. Not even your man. Not even your man. Or your girl, whoever. You know, so be mindful of who you choose. When in doubt, you call a labor. I call a labor. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I'm calling Dooley and labor at the same time. Anyway, call a, a, a doula. Okay, FaceTime a doula. Um, some doodles will be on the phone with you. I'll be on the phone with you if you need me to. On on video if you need me to. Live. Live while you're going through it. And you might say, oh, how can somebody so far away can be such an impact on labor support and they physically not here? It's the energy. It's knowing that you support it. Knowing that you you taken care of and, and within anything, you can trust that person to have your back. Even if you don't know that person. You ain't got to know the duo. You just got to vibe with the person. That's it. And usually, women, we know. Some men got it too. Real bad. <laughs> but we know when something ain't right, when somebody ain't right. Something ain't there. Even if you can't put your finger on it at the moment. But something is not there. You know? To make it gel. And a lot of times, most Human relationships is pretty much forced or some kind of dance around each other just to make it work type thing. Labor, we ain't got time for that. Labor and delivery, postpartum, we ain't got time for that. Mm -mm. It's all about you. It's all about that baby. All right? The queen and the princess. The queen, you know, and the prince. It's, it's not about nobody else. So, I'm just going to let these people go. So, definitely start to think, start to feel. Use them both, think and feel. You know, go back and forth like double dutch. And who is that person? And even if you don't know, don't ponder yourself too much now. Let it go. Somebody, somebody will pop right on up if your true intentions is to have the one, the best person for you while you're in your laboring stage your delivery stage and your postpartum stage because postpartum you're going to need those words, those encouragements you're going to need the communication without being nothing being said that too in labor and delivery it's a communication that goes on without speaking you know in sync basically and it's hard to come by but trust and believe if you put that on your birth plan, right? It will come. Don't sweat it. If, you, if there's nobody out there, interview some some doulas. Some doulas would do uh, consultations for free, or uh, you know, we'll go co communicate with you on the phone or however. And you can interview them. You don't just have to, you know, roll the dice and see <laughs> which one you get. And you just gotta deal with it. No, you make the decisions. This is your journey that you're paving the way for your generation. No one else's. Yours. So everybody talking about their queen, right? Everybody walking around being bosses 
and queens and want to be all this, take control of your labor. All right? That's where it starts. Take control of your pregnancy. That's where it starts. You call the shots because you know what's up. And if you don't know what's up and your best interest is to raise a well, productive, rounded, as you want to say, person, however you deem is considered to be well-rounded or whatever, right, for humanity, for the upbringing, the uplifting of humanity, right? So it's very important. It starts with that pregnancy, then it starts with the labor, and of course, you know, the birth, and then here we go. <laughs> you know, ain't no going back. <laughs> So, take some time out, like I said. Yeah, you can consult. Some people consult with their partners. Because some partners might not get along with other people. And you might get along with that person, but your partner might not. But that person is best for you. And your partner's like, I don't want to be seeing that person. Whatever. I get it. But somehow, some way, guess whose choice it is at the end? It's yours. So, he or she just going to have to understand. And especially in the face of COVID, you only get to choose one anyway. So... That person's just gonna have to stay outside. They will stay home while the person that you want can be in the room. And then you can just work out schedules where if that person is at work, that's when that person comes in to help you, you know, while you're in the postpartum stage. So that way they're not clashing or anything like that. But you gotta be strong to deal with that. You know, when you have a partner that don't like somebody who will hold you up during that and then you're trying to put that person in your life and your partner's like nah but like I said <laughs> this is this is your birth this is your labor and believe it or not depending on who you have in that room depending on who you have in your ear who you looking at who you smelling <laughs> who you feeling you know that can determine or have an effect on whether your baby your labor and delivery goes left or if it goes right. Every little thing counts. <laughs> All right? And how you know what counts? Just ask the mama. She'll tell you what counts. Don't, don't, don't count. Can't go and judge it. For those uh, partners out there who, who are going to be a labor partner, don't go in with your own what you think. Ask her questions before the labor and delivery because when it's about to happen it's too late you're going to have to figure it out and you're going to get frustrated and there's going to be some kind of tension going on and remember this is a 24, 48, 72 you know let's keep going our job here <laughs> so if you have any questions below feel free to comment below uh, you can also email me as well at uh, BillyOsaPregnant at gmail.com You can see me on Facebook. I don't know what's wrong with my Facebook, but a lot of times I can't get my messages. That's a whole, like, three-year battle with Facebook. Ain't nobody called me back yet. Facebook call me. Okay? I need some help. Customer service. Where you at? My goodness. But IG, that's the easiest way for a lot. You know, through IG. Um, messaging at BellyOsaPregnant. Uh, tw Twitter at BellyOso. So, depending on where you are, if you just put type in at Bellioso or um, Bellioso Pregnant, something will pop up. And, of course, if that don't work or skip what I just said before, just click the links below. All right. Bye. I'll talk to you guys later. Manifest birth. Manifest life.